Welcome to SolidCam Professor. I'm Sydney, your SolidCam Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this recording, we'll show you the new interface and selection of chain geometries. Let's take a look at choosing our geometry by going into a profile operation, and we'll go to geometry. We'll start a new geometry, and as you can see, there are now changes in the way we have set up our interface. You'll note there is no more automatic constant Z or general chain. Everything now is under curve. We just have curve and we have tangent propagation, constant Z propagation. If I don't want them, I just uncheck them. We also have up to entity. We basically just simplified the interface over here. You'll also note that this is the default, how it actually starts. Now, as for the default goes, we have complete control in our settings as to how we want this default to actually start. So before I actually continue with my geometry, let's take a look at our default settings. In our solid cam settings, we'll go to our geometry. You'll note that we have now the options over here as to how we want to have our default settings when we start a new geometry. As you can see, I have it set up where I have my curve, where the tangent propagation is checked, and the constant Z propagation is checked as well. I have my delta Z set at zero. We also have one other option here which shows show chain on work plane. And we have that set as show that as default. We'll see this also as we create our geometry exactly what this does. So now let's go back to actually creating the geometry. Now when I set up my geometry, since this is set by default, if I were to click on say this edge over here, it'll automatically create that chain around that edge because it's both tangent propagation and it's constant Z propagation. If I were to click on say this edge over here, it'll automatically go all the way up until here. Now you'll note that it's also showing it on the work plane. Now when it gets to this point, since it's not tangent propagation Z and constant Z propagation, it's showing me what are my options. And you can see it's showing you the arrow in one direction, but it's also showing you this line over here as a possibility. If I just want to continue in this direction, I can just click on this line. And now it completed that chain geometry. Now, let's take away the tangent propagation and the constant Z propagation. And let's start working again by individual picking. I'll start by clicking on this line over here. You'll note that it's showing me what are the options. It's showing me that I can go in this direction, this direction, and in this direction. Now, I can click each individual one, or we have some new options over here as well. We have here an option called Add Selected Element. Selected is the one that the arrow is on, and we also have an option is Change Direction, which direction I'd like to go in. By clicking on Change Direction, each click picks the different option that I have. So if this is the direction I want to go in, I can just click on Add Selected Element. And as you see, I can continue on as I'm going along this way without even clicking on the edge. Get over here. Just continue on with my selection just by clicking on Add Selected Elements. Now, when it gets to this area over there, it's showing me that it wants to go in. I can just change direction and then continue on down. This completed the selection of this entire chain without even touching the edges, but just by clicking on this area where it says Add Selected ele Element and Chain Direction. Now, let's take a look at a different part for a moment and see where this really comes in handy. 
Now, in this particular part that we have on our screen, I like to create a geometry on this top edge over here. Now, I can't select the bottom edge instead because this wall is at an angle. So I have to go along the top edge. You'll note in these particular cases, they are not constant Z and they're also not tangent. So this will not even help me. So let's uncheck this and I'll start my selection. Let's start off over here. And as you can see, it's showing me the direction. I can start zooming in and clicking each edge, but now it's a lot easier. Just look at the screen and you can see the direction of the arrow and click on add selected element. And as you can see, it's now continuing on every single time I click, making it a lot easier for me to pick those edges. And there we have our selected geometry. You can also see it again here very clearly on a working plane. We have here also the option, show the chain on working plane at its check. If I were to remove the check mark, you do not see it there anymore. Put it back, you can see it there. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.